What's up, YouTube? Bringing you a battle here. This is an OU battle. Testing out a brand new team. So I'm going to go for the tri attack and I get a freeze. And that's pretty huge because this thing has high speed and high attack. And the only reason why I believe I outsped it is because I had the choice scarf. He will be going down and now he's going to go for the revenge kill. But I don't think it goes too well for him because I don't think he knew I had the choice scarf at this point. So I go for the tri attack. I'm locked in. I get a burn. So tri attack is doing a lot for me right now. And he misses the focus blast, which is humongous because now I get to, you know, it's guaranteed I'll take this thing out or he force switches. Uh, I'm pretty sure he raged there. <laughs> but he's going to switch out into Fair Thorn, one of the most annoying Pokemon in the game, in my opinion. <laughs> and, man, I really wish I got the status here. That would have helped a lot. But it's Fair Thorn, so, you know, he's, he's going to set up. So I'm thinking, let's go Dragonite and just. You know, while he's setting up with me, I'll just set up the dragon dances and just sleep his whole team. But this plan backfires on me big time because I'm, I looked at my dragon eye. I don't have fire punch, which is a bad move. Not only that, but for the first time, I see a fair throne that's playing offensive. He didn't get the lead seat up. He didn't do anything. He just went straight for attacking. And he gets a crit, must I say. So everything just went wrong here. I go earthquake. Um, it did a, I would say average damage, you know, it wasn't great, but, you know, it was, it was decent damage. So I go Earthquake again, and, you know, he's down to more than half, so, you know, I, I thought that was pretty good damage there. But, you know, Dragonite will be going down, which is sad, because, you know, Dragonite is a beast. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, let's go Porygon. Maybe he'll play defensive and try to, you know, switch it up. So I'm going to go for the trick. Not only that, but just to steal his leftovers. You know, leftovers make it even more annoying. So he can't heal. But he's still playing offensive. So now I'm like, oh my goodness. I have to switch out again because I don't want to lose Porygon now. So let's just take this thing out right now. Uh, The Stealth Rocks do a decent amount. And then he gets another freaking crit. So now, I just put a brand new Pokemon in to lose almost all of its health. I missed Fire Blast, and now I'm down to, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, I raged pretty hard there. <laughs> I still have a 10 hit points, thank God, and I will take this thing out. Oh, I hate that Ferrothorn. But anyway, one hit point, and I surprised the hell out of him, you know, he wasn't expecting this at all. I go with Pain Split, and I will get almost all my health back, dividing his in half. So that was really good for me. Uh, he thought Hidden Power was going to take me out because I had one hit point, but that is no longer the case. So I'm going to go for the sub because, you know, maybe he'll wish, or maybe he'll just, you know, switch out. But he's just going to go for the Stab Surf. So at this point, I'm thinking, let's just take this thing out. So here I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball, and I get a crit here, and to be honest, I don't feel bad because he already got like three or two of them by now. <laughs> Not that it's his fault, but... Um, now he goes into this because, you know, he wants to get the revenge kill. I'm not scarfed on this Pokemon, so it's pretty easy for him to do. But I have a Pokemon for the situations like this when he's weakened out, and that's definitely Absol. I have the Sucker Punch, so I will also get an easy revenge kill here. So that's good, because this thing is pretty dangerous, pretty high speed. But speed doesn't mean much when Sucker Punch is involved, unless you have extreme speed. So now he's down to his last, because he rage quit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. He'll be going down. Uh, MVP definitely goes to um, Porygon, Tri-Attack. I love that move. Uh, I think it's pretty fair, you know, the fact that it's not a 100% chance for the status. And it's pretty random, the status. And I think it's pretty cool. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll definitely be posting more. You already guys already know that. So, yeah, peace out, guys.